Hey guys, how you doing? You probably guessed it. We are reviewing this device. It's the new Toshiba Convection Microwave. That's right, you heard me correctly. Convection Microwave. I never knew there was such a thing. I knew con that's a convection oven back there. I've heard that, but not a convection microwave. I'm sitting here reading. It defrosts, it microwaves like usual. It also bakes and it also roasts. And it also takes these metal racks that come with it. That blew me away that these metal racks are allowed to go in. Only on convection, remember, only put these in or they'll start sparking up, okay? When you have the convection setting on. But like you can bake cookies in here, you can cook, roast a chicken in here, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna do a few things today. Are you ready? So we're gonna do things that you normally do. First, first thing we're gonna do is show you the front and show you some of the buttons and the features. And then we're gonna boil water. Isn't that exciting? I know you've always been waiting for that. First off, as I said, it has convection. It also has sensor cooking and it has stainless steel interior and LED lighting. 1.5 cubic black stainless steel finish. And that's just the sticker on the front here. That's the information it gives you. Let's take a look at the control panel. All right, so it looks like we have auto bake, auto roast, a popcorn button. We have the uh, sensory cook. Hold on, oh, there it is. We have auto defrost and time defrost and warm hold. Is that awesome or what? And then you have the more or less buttons then you have the number pad. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna see how fast it boils water. We're gonna try some experiments with things you would do at your house. Sometimes you need to heat up some water, so let's close it up. We're gonna put 10 minutes in. I know you can't probably see it on camera, but the water's boiling inside. It took seven minutes. That's right, at the three minutes left of 10 minutes. So seven minutes in, it started boiling. That's a lot faster than stovetop. That's one of the things we use microwaves for is to get the water boiling for if we're making hot water cornbread or anything else. So it's, it's boiling pretty good in there right now. Let's open it up and take a peek. Look at that. Whew. Let that cool before I grab it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is microwave popcorn. That's right. Everybody uses their microwave for popcorn. So this asks for one and a half to two and a half minutes. I know for a fact that by two minutes, by about two minutes and, and five seconds, that whole bag is, will be popped. You don't have to wait the full two and a half minutes. So we're gonna see how fast it works in this environment, okay? Microwave popcorn test. There you go, first pop right there. That didn't take long at all. out there you go there it is look how beautiful it is and there you have it big beautiful popcorn right there all right what's our next test I have two ribeye steaks here that are frozen okay you're looking at one pound exactly and what this microwave does is defrosts but it'll also beep twice during defrosting phase so that I turn it over when it beeps. So we're gonna, we have a pound of ribeye, the thin cut ribeye steaks, and we got a pound of meat here. So let's throw it in the defroster, see how good it does. All right, what's our next test? I have two ribeye steaks here that are frozen. Okay, you're looking at one pound exactly. And what this microwave does is defrosts, but it'll also beep twice during defrosting phase so that I turn it over when it beeps. So we're gonna, we have a pound of ribeye, the thin cut ribeye steaks, and we got a pound of meat here. So let's throw it in the defroster, see how good it does. So there it is. <clears throat> Hold on a minute, where's the steaks? Put them up here. Let's open this. 
place it right in the middle. Close the door. Where is auto defrost? Right there. Let's clear everything. Auto defrost. Defrost one. There we go. Didn't hit start. Okay, so you put in the auto defrost. Def one is from half a pound to six pounds. You put it in and you put in on the pad how many pounds of meat and hit start. And that's gonna defrost it. Okay, it just beat twice. So we're gonna open it. You can see it's already defrosting. We're gonna flip the package because it tells us to. When it beeps twice, so it frosts evenly everywhere and hit start. And we'll take a look at that in a few minutes. It just beeped that it was done. So let's pull it out and take a look. That looks beautiful. Look at the juice running. That is really, oh my gosh, it's super soft. It's fully defrosted, but it's not cooked at all. This is amazing on defrost. This is a total home run. Look at that. Now I'm ready to grill it or smoke it or whatever I want to do to it because it didn't. I hate when defrost partially cooks the meat. And as you can see here, the meat is not partially cooked. Okay, so check this out. We're going to use the convection oven feature. I'm gonna make a pizza and I'm gonna preheat this. Oh, convection oven. And then we do this. 425 for how long? Now check that out, look. It's, the convection oven is going. It's preheating. Now I've always been warned, never put the microwave on with nothing in it. So this is freaking me out right now. As you can see, it's flashing. It's preheating to 425 so I can put my pizza in there for 17 to 19 minutes. Now while that's preheating to 425, I'm gonna open this mother of meat screaming Sicilian pizza. As we said on the show, the best frozen pizza is a screaming Sicilian. This is gonna be amazing. As you notice, there are dots underneath here that they're growing and they're getting to right here. I wonder if that's when it's done preheating. It's gonna beep twice when it's done preheating, then you put the pizza in. As you can see, the line's almost full. We're just waiting for it to beep. Okay, the microwave just beeped twice. We're at full, be careful, because inside this, it's like an oven. 425 degrees, that's what we did. Let's go get our pizza now. I'm putting uh, parchment paper in there. They didn't tell me. Let's put the time in. One, nine, there, is it 19 minutes. I'm doing the full 19. Now recommended 17 to 19 minutes. I'm going the full 19, okay? So we'll see how this does. It's working right now like an oven, so let's see what happens. I got parchment paper under there because it didn't tell me do I use a rack? Do I use aluminum foil? Do I use parchment paper? What can I put in there safely for a pizza so I know parchment paper is safe in an oven? Okay, that pizza's ready. I'm not sure how to take it out yet because it's gonna be hot, but let's take a look at it. You can see it from the inside. Look at that. Does that look beautiful? I'm gonna take this, first I'm gonna let it cool, then I'm gonna take this cutting sheet and slide it under. So I can pull it well. Look at that pizza. Oh, it's pretty, pretty flimsy. Pretty well cooked. It's getting really hot. It's terrible. It smells so good in this kitchen. Just coming out of the oven, it literally smells like pizza, of course. Wow, that is amazing. Let's take a look at the pizza. Look at that pizza, you can see it got black around the edge here. The tips, it's still warm. We're gonna let it cool off. Then we'll take it off the paper and cut it. That is beautiful, it did a great job. It's very inexpensive, it's a great gift for somebody in your life who's a big foodie. It could be your oven, it could be your microwave, 
It could be for somebody who is in an RV. It could be for somebody, it's not that, that big of, a, of an item. And I'm really falling in love with it quickly. It takes the aluminum, these racks here, they can go inside if you're doing convection. So remember that. Don't do microwave with these racks inside, okay? All right, you guys, so there's your review. The only thing that I didn't do was roast an entire chicken, which I wanna try on this. I may do a future video on that. I'm not sure yet, all right? Take care, I love you, and check out this device.